Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm showing you how to create a sniper scope in Adobe Premiere Pro. So take a look at the end product right here. I mean, this isn't, you know, top A quality, you know, Hollywood style um, effects here, but it does get the job done and it's actually really fun to create. So this is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. Uh, it's just actually really kind of simple to do, just a couple of layers on top of each other. And like I said, it's all in Premiere, which is just pretty neat that Premiere can do something like this. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and create myself a new sequence so we can kinda get away from everything in this one right here. And then now what we need to do is we need to drag in our footage and I need to select that right there to make sure that we can. And yeah, let's go ahead and change the sequence settings for this. I'm gonna disattach the audio so we don't have to keep listening to it. And let's get started. So we have just this regular scene over here um, to the right. Nothing too fancy, just, you know, a field looking into a field. And so the first thing we want to do is we actually want to create that magnification. So what we need to do is we could drag, the, we could go to effects and find under magnify. If we search magnify, it'll be under video effects, distort, and then magnify. We could try to drag that on here. But the problem is, is that the magnify will move and not the scene behind it. And what we want is we want the scene behind it to move. So instead of dragging it directly onto our footage, we're going to like add a little pseudo step in between. And that's going to be going into our explorer right here. We're gonna go down to new item and we're gonna click adjustment layer. And we're just gonna keep with the default settings here. And you'll see it creates the adjustment layer right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on top of my footage like so. And now we're gonna go into effects, video effects, distort, magnify, and drop that right on the adjustment layer. And now you'll see up here, there's a little bubble that it forms. That is our magnification. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. If we click on our adjustment layer, go up to effect controls, we can get in here and let's go ahead and increase the size of this a little bit. Something like this should be pretty good. Um, we can adjust the size you know, really easily later on. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of feather on the edges. And then we are going to go ahead and, yeah, actually that looks pretty good right now for that particular setting. So let's go ahead and add in our crosshair. So if we go over to media, we go over to actually into our project. I just downloaded this online. I literally just looked in Google for rifle scope transparent. And I went down to this result right here um, and it had a, you know, a nice transparent rifle scope. It has some dirt on the lens, which I don't like. It's too sort of overbearing. Um, there's this one, which I really love the sort of the center here, but it's a very bad model. So just kind of look around. I'm sure you might be able to find different versions, like especially if we go into like these files, like that one looks kind of cool. Uh, a red dot site, that would be really fun. Let me actually download that one. We can try to put that one on there. So uh, I'm just going to view image, save that image as our desktop and we're going to go ahead and try the red dot site because I think that might be really fun to do. Okay, so now that we have our image, we're going to drag and drop that onto our scene. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and increase the size here. So let's go ahead and bring the scale up like so. And you see that we just needed to cover the entire scene. And like I said, if you don't have like this yourself, it's going to look a little cheesy because there's going to be like video game sort of lines on here or whatever, but it's fun to make and it's kind of has a really neat end product here. So now that we have this going, we have our sort of red dot site going right here. We can go back into our adjustment layer and we can kind of adjust the magnification, what kind of looks neat, like maybe maybe about 205 looks good. But before we do that, we should actually go and go to the next step. And that's going to be, we need this, the background to move, which means we need it to be larger. So we need the entire background to zoom in just a little bit. The higher you go, the less quality you're gonna get. So if you have like 4K footage, this would be perfect for that because you could zoom it in and not lose quality. But I'm actually just gonna zoom it into maybe about 155 because we are zooming in the center as well. So we'll bring it to about there. Now, if I go into the position, and you notice if I move the position around, now it looks like I'm moving the gun around because I'm scanning across the background. And so now we can kind of have some fun with this. So let's go and bring it over to the side here and I'm gonna click the position marker. Then we're gonna move forward and let's go ahead and make, let's lock the adjustment layer so I can actually click on the uh, the 
video footage down here. If I don't have it locked, I'll keep adjusting the adjustment layer and moving the magnification. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to lock that so I can select the footage beneath it. Let's move this down, and we don't want the black to come up, so let's move it down over to here. And then now let's go ahead just a little bit more, and let's adjust back up. And I just kind of had a target in mind. Let's see where we could aim in on these bushes right here. And for this last key point, what we want to do is we actually want to right click it, go to temporal interpolation and click ease in and that'll allow us this uh, sort of smooth effect near the end where it kind of slows down and then gets locked on. So now we have this effect going where it's moving across the scene and then kind of goes into a, a final position right there like so. And you see the more that we zoom it in, the less quality we're going to get, but the more kind of control we're going to get. Like I couldn't get back up to this um, in the original version here. What I did was I zoomed all the way in to this sort of this transformer, but I couldn't get there because in this one I zoomed it in, I think 206. And this time I only zoomed it in um, to 153. So, you know, just you kind of have to weigh that in when you're doing this. But we have this effect going, and so we're almost done. What we need to do is we need to add ourselves a black video. So I'm going to click New down here, and we're going to click Black Video. We're going to make sure it's just the regular, you know, dimensions, and we're going to add this on the top. And now when we click on the black video, we can go ahead and click the opacity button right here. And then let's bring it just to the edges of this, like so. And this is a little bit more complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this tool. And we're going to go ahead and create ourselves a couple additional ones to sort of just fit this nicely right here. We don't need it to be perfect because we're actually going to be doing a, quite a bit of feathering on it. But we just need enough that we can kind of move around these elements. And it covers the majority of this red dot site. Move that there. Okay, so now we got this looking pretty good. It covers the majority of it. So now we're going to invert it. And then we're going to feather it up a bunch. Like so. And then we're going to lower the opacity down a couple, a little bit. And all we're doing with this is we're just focusing our attention towards the center where we're supposed to be looking, which is the red dot site in this situation. Um, but we still have a good view of the background as well, which kind of sells the effect because you can kind of see the background moving and you have that cool sort of magnification. So let's go back into the select tool. Let's jump out of there. And now you see that we have this. And let's make a little edit here. The um, Let's bring in the expansion a touch. See, that'll kind of focus it down a little bit more. And I don't like it where it's bright on the edges here. So we're going to bring it down so it's only bright right in here. And the, the way I did that is really easily. It's just mask expansion. You bring it to the uh, negatives, and it's going to come inside. You bring it to the positives, and it's going to extend the mask outward. So now there we have it. We have this neat little effect where we have, have, have like this sniper going. And you know, you could even do something where you like uh, increase the magnification over time. So if we like went to the, the adjust layer, we could go um, to the, where is it? The magnification right here. And maybe like right here, we could bring it up even more. So it looks like he's like zooming in as he goes, which it might actually work best if you like stop first. So like, let's do it right here. Like maybe he, the person uh, has like some sort of zoom ability on this thing. So, you know, he's moving in and we stop right to here. And the magnification goes up. And you maybe we'll probably want to make that like really quick. So it's like, boom. Maybe even quicker than that. But you kind of see the point here is I can control the magnification over time as well. But that is really the effect. And once you create it, it's kind of really easy to swap out these scopes. So if I wanted to go with the original one, all I have to do is drop this in and sort of uh, delete out the other one. And you see that already it's just basically right back um, to being perfect because it's all sort of centered. So this is going to center itself back to where it should. And you'll see that this one is actually a touch off. So I'm going to actually go into the scope here. And we're going to move it to the left just a bit. And now it's back where it should be. And then now we have the original scope like it looked like in the beginning one. I was just thinking we could sell this effect even more. And I'm going to do something really quick that I didn't do in the original video just because I thought of it on the spot here. Is we could actually move the adjustment layer above the scope layer. And then we could go into the effects and then blur. We could grab some camera blur add that to the adjustment layer. And now what we can do is we can go to the adjustment layer, go to the camera blur and create a mask on it and sort of surround just the scope here, just the center of the scope like so. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to sort of create a blur that is going to um, only affect everything that's not the scope. So now that we have it on the scope, we can hit invert. And then let's bring this down to maybe just like three. And now you'll see that it sort of blurs out everything else. Because if you're looking through this, everything else is going to be blurry. So what this does is it allows you to sort of focus even more to the center. And it allows it to kind of sell the effect even better, like so. So I just thought that that was uh, sort of a, a neat thing that I thought before uh, ending this tutorial. But that is how you create a sniper scope in Adobe Premiere Pro. Like I said, it isn't going to be in you know any Hollywood movies, but it looks pretty neat. It was fun to create, and I think that some people, definitely for like YouTube videos and stuff, this would be adequate to sort of show off a fun little uh, sequence. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or to our website on adobemasters.net. Go into the forums and ask there, and I'll be sure to answer you over there. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related topics. Until next time, guys, see ya.